Want to know what we think of Louis Simmons and his powerlifting style of training? Watch this. Our next caller is Rob from Ohio. Rob, how's it happening, man? How can we help you? Hey, so um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll kind of give a real quick background and ask my question. Um, I was uh, military, Air Force, 1989 through 2013. Um, most of my focus back in the day was strength and endurance. Uh, I would do um, endurance activities. Uh, marathons, triathlons. I did a couple other uh, Tough Mudder, Spartan. Did my last competition in 2010. Uh, life kind of happened and I stopped doing anything after that. I uh, retired in 2013. Uh, made a conversion because uh, endurance wasn't in my wheelhouse anymore. Uh, so I started doing power lifting, uh, making pretty good uh, gains in the gym. And uh, <clears throat> It, it was always a means of justifying bad healthy eating habits. I've never had good healthy eating habits. I was burning so many calories doing the endurance stuff. Uh, when I stopped doing it and I retired, uh, my diet never changed. And, it, and I started to see the fluffier I got, the, the more weight I would move. And uh, it, it kind of hit, it came to a head last year. Uh, October 1st, I decided to make a change. I was um, 51 years old. Five foot 11, uh, 240 pounds, and uh, I was about 27% body fat. And I refused to buy a pair of size 42 waist jeans. So <clears throat> I uh, went to my coach, said, hey, I, I want to lose, I want to lose weight, and I want to enter a competition. I need a, I need a goal to hold me to. So we signed up for a, for a powerlifting meet. Uh, he put me on the vertical diet, uh, staying efforting. That's how I found you guys. And then um, I seen the weight come off pretty good. I started tracking my macros. Um, and when we were about uh, 12 weeks out from the meet, I'm about five weeks now, he really changed uh, what we were doing in the gym. And we started doing a lot of um, uh, Louis Simmons, West Side Barbell, uh, the conjugate method, uh, doing things I've never done before. Uh, banded, uh, chains, a lot of speed work, everything dynamic effort, max effort. And uh, man, it's been... Uh, I feel so young again, but uh, I, I, that's what I, that's where my question comes in. I've already got plans for next year. Um, I want to compete in the same weight class, but instead of being uh, my current 22% body fat, I want to go in at um, 16 to 18. So I want to take this year, drop about uh, 12 pounds of body fat, uh, re-add it with muscle, um, hit my next competition again, same weight class, uh, move bigger weights, be leaner. And uh, and my question is, can the max effort, dynamic effort, this conjugate method of training be sustainable long term for a natural raw lifter? I'm not equipped. Um, I'm clean. And, and so that's that's where it comes down to. It's, uh, is it healthy? Is it safe? Maintain that um, max effort, dynamic effort long term. What a great. OK, so. Um a couple of things here. First off, you said natural, meaning obviously no anabolics. Raw means you use a weight belt and uh, what knee knee wraps, and that's it. Or and I don't. Those, yeah, I don't do wraps. I do I do compression sleeves, and that's okay, it. Sleeves, okay. okay. All right. So that's just for for listeners who don't know. Okay. So Louis Simmons is a god with powerlifting programming. Some of the best exercise programming, strength training program, I, I should say, that you'll find anywhere in the world yep. is in powerlifting and Olympic lifting because you either lift the weight or you don't. It's very objective. It's very scientific. So when it comes to powerlifting um, programming, I mean, you can't go wrong by trying uh, you know, something like a Louis, like Louis Simmons style programming. Now, here's where the, the challenges come in. Here's where I'd say I want you to keep your eyes open. And this is just because of the sport of powerlifting itself, really not because of uh, his style of training, is you want to pay attention and make sure that you don't start to develop aches and pains in your joints as your strength starts to go up because you will get strong, but you may notice hip pain or knee pain or shoulder pain. And what you don't want to do is mask those things um, and continue to try and improve your strength because then you'll hurt yourself. So mobility and working in different planes of movement, you, you might want to inject you know, two or three weeks at a time of that kind of training in between training cycles where, okay, for three weeks, I'm going to do mobility, maybe map symmetry, something where I'm doing, 
unilateral work, and then go back to your powerlifting training. That's the only mm -hmm. thing. That's really just the, that's really just just to interrupt itself. it. Really, yeah. is to interrupt the cycle of you staying in that same sagittal plane too often. I'm not as familiar in terms of like rotational movements in, in the conjugate method, um, but I know like it's super solid programming uh, geared towards uh, powerlifting. But that would be something to consider is just like making sure that you're taking your limbs and everything through its full range of motion capacity, uh, so that way you know you don't. Um, uh, you know, get that repetitive stress that is inevitable uh, when you stay in something like that too long. I, I don't think we're going to be much help yet. I think where we could help you is when you start to run potentially into a problem, we could have some answers for you. I think you've got some of the best on your side right now. If you're following a West Side Barbell program, you got Stan Efferding's diet that you're running, which we, we I would stand behind yeah, that also. Solid. I, I like everything you're doing and and what you're saying. You I, you you you. By the way, you dropped the body fat percentage too when you said that. Like you've got you've got incredible results so far. You're feeling great. You're feeling younger th than you have in a long time. I actually probably wouldn't want to fuck with too much right now. I but I would to Sal's point. Pay close attention to you and be asking you as you're going along like how you feeling. And I'd want to hear that. And as long as you're telling me, Adam, I'm feeling good, man. I feel good. I feel strong. We're getting leaner. I, I would keep that going until you start giving me feedback. Ah, I'm starting to feel a little bit of this. And then I might, okay, let's scale back a little bit of intensity. Let's talk about more, more mobility into your routine. Let's talk about rotational stuff like Justin's alluding to right now. But I, I mean, I kind of like where your mindset is right now and what, you, what you're, what you're doing. I, I kind of want to see what you do. In fact, if you're not in our forum, I'd love to put you in there and and uh talk to you as you go through the process yeah Here, here's going to be your challenge uh because i'm reading your question and, and i you know I, you told us your your uh background a little bit you did you were special operations in the military so you were up there yeah and so that you know when you bring up the joint pain um the, the, the aches and pains that's daily um, <laughs> okay. so it's hard to, to differentiate sometimes do i hurt because i went to the gym or do I hurt less because I went to the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably both. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so, okay. So, yeah, so. but if you're, okay, if you're, if you're improving, we're moving the right direction. So like if you, if you have less pain, that's right. If you're, if you're not, if you're, if you're not getting more pain than what you're used to dealing with, that's a huge plus. If you're getting stronger in the gym, that's a huge plus. I'm looking for Adam, I'm not moving, getting stronger and I'm not feeling any better. If anything, I might even be feeling worse like that. That's the, that's the kind of the red flag I'm looking for. If you've been dealing with joint pain most of your yeah. life and kind of ache and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you're probably right. The, the gym might actually be helping. It really that. depends on your, your goal. Like, what do you want? Like, do you want to alleviate pain? Cause then that's a different protocol completely. I would, yeah. I would suggest. I, I, look, here's the Achilles. The Achilles for power lifters is that as long as weight is being added to the bar, everything else is okay. And what they tend to do is they tend to address nagging uh, pain with more warm up and wraps and, you know, that kind of, just so they could do the lift and they can lift more. So, so here's what I'm going to say to you. And I, I mentioned your background because you, because of your background, I'm going to guess that it's really hard for you. You probably have two speeds, like nothing or full speed, right? So, <laughs> so your challenge is gonna your challenge is gonna be how to go in the in between sometimes. How I can cruise a little bit, allow my body to catch up while staying motivated. You probably only feel motivated when you feel like your balls to the wall. Otherwise, it feels boring. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the the challenge. So I'll say this: after this meet that you do. I think you should run map symmetry and focus entirely on feeling better and then go back to your powerlifting training. I think that'll work wonders on your mobility and some of your joint pain. And I want and I want to put you in the forum. So if you don't have symmetry, mm -hmm. we're going to give you symmetry for free, free. Plus, I'd love to have you in the forum just so we could check up on you and hear how you're doing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, I've, I've changed a lot just from, and I've only started listening to you guys since November, but um, the foam rolling, oh my God, I never knew anything about that. And it's made such a huge difference in my my pre-workout prep. Um, uh, so yeah, that's, that's absolutely, you guys are such a benefit um, to what, what information you put out. Yeah. Well, you, the, what you just said is get, get, tells me very clearly that you'll benefit tremendously yes. from mobility. Symmetry work. I think is, is yeah. money for you. Foam rolling is a, is a great band aid by itself. If used in conjunction with mobility, it could be really good. What I mean by that is you, you, you foam roll, you'll feel better right away, but you're not solving the root issue. So eventually foam rolling starts to work less and less, and then you start to develop more and more problems. 
So what that tells me is that you would benefit greatly from mobility. Yeah. Greatly. So I think symmetry would be would be great after this meet for sure. Okay. Awesome. All right, man. Thanks for calling in. I hey, appreciate it, guys. All right. Got it. As, hey, as soon as he came on, I didn't even see his uh, thing. Same until, thing, right? Hey, <laughs> I, I, he's like, that's like one of those bad motherfuckers you can just you just see. Like you just don't want to oh, Sergeant Matt. I didn't yeah. I didn't even know that until Sal said that. I didn't read that far down into his question. Obviously, we saw he was military, but he just had that. He had that. Yeah. Look yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when he says like, "Oh, you know, I have some aches and pains coming yeah, from a guy a, like him," <laughs> yeah, his tolerance is probably super high. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad he said the foam rolling thing. If if you get that much benefit from foam rolling, you need. Mobility oh yeah, right. yeah. Mobility would be life changing. Uh -huh. you know, to, yeah. to address that pain. Totally. Yeah, yeah.